Hello, good people of Seven Days to Die. My name is Mr. Rich. We're back with another Seven Days to Die video. Uh, we here with another episode of Living in Small Places. Now, uh, this place did not take me too long. Uh, it was done in creative as well, so uh, don't hate on me. Uh, I do all my builds in creative, just to make sure we got that out of the way. Uh, a few people do comment now and then and ask me, "Do you make this in creative?" And I say, "Yeah, I do," because I don't want to sit and take five years to build something in survival when I can do it in creative to show you guys. Uh, most of my videos are all for design to give you an idea for what base you want to build. You don't have to build it exactly like this. Obviously you can go and build it in your own way. But uh, I'm just here to give you that idea. Uh, I'll take you around right now. Uh, see what you guys think of this place. Right, so first of all we have an electric fence going all the way around here. Now this is not really for Horde Knight. You can make it for Horde Knight. You can add more spikes. Uh, we can add, I don't have any spikes here, but you can add some spikes. Uh, I just added the electric fence f for now. I don't really have any plans uh, to do any other defense. I suppose you can put some barbed wire up. But uh, living in small things series is going to be very basic in defense against zombies. So if you coming here to f find a way to get the zombies to, you know, not come near your base, this is not the series for you. This is just for design. Uh, but yeah, so if you hear the zombies getting shocked, you can come outside and blow the head off with your shotgun or your sniper rifle, whatever you have. Uh, you can do it from there as well. So, I have dug down, not too deep, so it not doesn't really classify as underground base. So, it is a little bit, because some of it is underground. But, uh, I didn't want it to be fully underground, so some of it is, some of it's not. You come down here, I kind of like this design, I use some ramps going down a little bit and some stairs. Very basic. Um, you go inside, yeah, you got your vault door, got another door here. Uh, this is for the electric fences that you saw outside, so I can enable them here and shut them down. Uh, there is a generator in the wall here, I've just hidden the generator for the video. Uh, I actually should have put a hatch here, so at least we can access it. But, uh, the generator is in the wall. Uh, we got some barrels here just for some design. Uh, so, basically if you put the electric fence on, you hear zombies, you can go up here. Take a sniper rifle and you can shoot them because they should be stunned for quite some time. So uh, it works quite nicely. It really does. This is just some basic catwalk up here. I like this sort of design and it goes up like this. I I don't know. I just came up with it. Uh, yeah, this design I really didn't have any thought in my mind. I didn't copy any pictures or anything like that. Just came up with it in my mind. Uh, so this is the lovely kitchen. I know RJ would love this kitchen. She she does all the cooking in my videos. Uh, well, in the in, in our survival gameplay that we play, we play on a server. Got a nice trash can, you can throw shit away. Uh, fridge, candles. Now, I use candles, guys. I really wanted to use electricity, put some lights up. But uh, it seems in Alpha 16 they've taken out most of the variety of the lights. So, there's only one light. So, if you go into your crafting menu, uh, let's just check here quickly. Uh, if you type in light. There you go, you got one light, and then there's a spotlight, which is way too bright. So, I didn't really want these lights around here, so I left that out, and I put some candles instead, and some torches. There's a torch over there, and uh, there, just to give it some, some light. But yeah, this uh, kitchen has everything you need. you got a fireplace over here. Uh, you can store all your food in the cabinets and stuff. Uh, this is the lovely garage. It has everything you need. It's got your cement mixer, your forge. I, I added a few other things just to make it look like a garage. You got your saw over here. You got your your lockers, you can put some things in. You got your chemistry station and you got your workbench there. So everything's in here. Uh let me take you out here. Uh so guys, just so you guys know, this garage door is not in the actual game. You will have to spawn these in with creative mode uh under dev blocks if you type in garage. This comes up and guys, this is by far the best garage door that this game's ever seen ever. So, you know, if you want to spawn this in, I'd really suggest you do. It is really nice, as I'll show you here. You can open it right up, and it goes straight into the uh, into the roof. So you can't really see it; doesn't get in the way. But yeah, this is the sort of the backyard. You can come here, stop, and get some gas with your jeep. Uh, you can store your gas in here as well. You can actually buy these from the trader. So, uh, I, I, at least I think you can. I know in Alpha 16 you. You could do that. I don't know if you can do it in uh, Alpha, Alpha 17. Uh, yeah, so basic uh, back uh, back in, back entrance here. You've got some sort of things up here just to give, give it some design, make it look like a futuristic home, like it's been powered. I haven't hooked these up to anything, but I suppose I could in the future. 
uh, uh, electric fence goes up to here, so not too bad, not too bad. I don't have any other designs out here. It was mainly just the insides that I wanted to do. Got a nice bench you can sit and chillax at. Uh, you can close. Oopsie. You can close this uh, door. Works. I love it. It just works so nice, guys. I, I just I don't know why they did not add that. They I, I actually asked uh, some of the people in Discord and they said they didn't add it because uh, the texture was too low res, so they scrapped it and they probably added added new, the new patches or new alpha or something. But yeah, guys, if you come down here, you got a lovely dining room table. You can eat your meals at, order some pizza in, and uh, relax. Got a fireplace that I designed myself. I know RJ. Uh, for those of you guys don't know, RJ is Mrs. Rich. She's my girlfriend. She designs a lot of the fireplaces and a lot of the things in the in my base builds. She does as well. Uh, she also made a video of ten. I think it was top ten different fireplaces. Uh, you can check that out if you want. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, she did a damn good job with that as well. Uh, yeah. So this is my fireplace. I've used the security things, uh, the security gates. I think they called that. And just make sure. What am I? What am I doing? Oh my word! I there. Security, uh, here you go, these things, yeah, security gates. Uh, they're really nice, actually. You should actually try to use them. They, they, they look nice. If you put, like, uh, I put fire barrels down there, and you just put that right over, and it uh, works perfectly. Uh, i got some more bookshelves over here. you got some crazy science this guy that looks at you while you eat your pizza. Yep. Oh, uh, guys, Ben has not been added here. No Ben here. There's no Ben, so. Um... Just a basic hallway, you've got two doors, that's the bedroom, and this is the the pee-pee room where you go and take a pee. Uh, no shower this time, I've just added a bath. Uh, got your, your zinc and your toilet and your dustbin. Uh, very basic bathroom, guys. Very nice. If you want, if you get, if you have guests over, I'm afraid they're gonna have to sleep in the bathroom. Because there's no, there's no guest bedroom, so. Coming here, this is the main bedroom for one person. The space is pretty much for one person. If you have any more than that, I suppose it'll get a little bit too crowded. I suppose you can squeeze a few in here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basic room. Got a scientist guy that looks at you while you sleep, so... Yeah, there's that. Yeah, uh, this is the new luggage they've added to Alpha, Alpha 17B221. I really don't understand why, actually, because... Why do we need this? Uh, I don't know. Who cares? But at least we've got more content. <laughs> But yeah, guys, that is all I have for you today. I don't think I have anything else to show you. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, what I can show you is... Uh, I can drive out of here perfectly. I I'm, a, I'm a very good driver. There you go. This base... I don't know. It works quite nicely. In fact, I would actually like to build this base in survival with RJ. And I would like to survive a few nights here. And see how it actually performs under survival. But I'm not going to do that anytime soon. So if you guys want to try this build out, please do so. And if you survive here, I don't know for how long, uh, you can go and uh, let me know in my Discord channel or the comments below if you really like this design and it works out for you. But yeah, that is pretty much all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next one. Feel free to join our Discord. There's a link in the description. And there'll be a link to RJ's Fireplace Designs in the link of the de in the description. So you guys can go check that out. But that is all I have. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.